Good morning guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living channel. And uh, I'm going to address a couple of weird things here. One person left a note with me saying that they wanted to do more filming but were afraid to look at the camera. And my answer to them would be, when you talk to people, have you not been taught to look them in the eye? So look at your camera as the person you're talking to and you want to look them in the eye. Um, uh, out of respect and if that helps you great uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is I saw a video about someone saying that they were uh, belittled sometimes or they uh, just they find people that look down on people that are farmers or homesteaders or um, have farmsteads or whatever you, terminology you want to use and uh, <clears throat> another, I have to say, <clears throat> that's a bunch of crap because almost every homesteader I've met or seen or watched have been professionals that left the industry for several reasons. One is that it was driving them crazy and it's stressful. And two, felt detached from the earth felt detached from the world of, of what it really is. It's about Mother Earth. It's about God. It's about animals. It's about the cycle of life. <clears throat> and you can't get that in a corporate scene sitting at a cubicle. And so many I've seen have said they just gave everything up and dove into this kind of lifestyle. And, uh, not because they're lazy, not because they couldn't handle it, but they realize that's really what life is all about, the cycle of life. Learning how to grow your own food, learning how to raise animals. Realize this gift that we got from God is, um, is the thing you nurture. And if you don't like it, instead of sitting from your cubicle saying, Oh, you're not raising your animals right, or you're not doing this right, or that's crazy, or um, climate change, and all those things. Well, why don't you just get out of that cubicle and get out here and start showing us how to do it right? <clears throat> and that's a lot, exactly what a lot of us have done. Uh, there's a great change going on in the way we raise animals, and. Uh, the small farm and the small homesteads are leading the way. And then, of course, there's uh, industries that are bigger that some are taking a look at the common sense of rejuvenating the soil and, and rotating your animals and, and, and so forth. <clears throat> so uh, there's a big change going on. And then the other reality is, is people are realizing that this meat they buy at the store, this vegetables they buy at the store, uh, came from somewhere. <laughs> and magically. And they're finding out, no, it isn't magical. It actually comes from farms and, and produce folks and distributors. And so they're saying, well, can I do it better? Can I get it healthier? Um, so yeah. And the last thing I wanted to bring up in this video, I'm getting ready to do my chores. And I've got my water and I have a chickens out here. It's been really loud today. I don't know why. Um, maybe because it's <laughs> warmer and sunny. Is what are you grateful for from God? What has God given you that you're just really grateful for? I'm going to list a couple off, but I'd love to see it in your comments. One is my wife and my children, my pets that I've had throughout the years. Uh, I've been grateful for getting this property and uh, never thought I'd be back here in Central Oregon and be doing this again. I was in this Phoenix back in this city life pretty much and uh, I did have a farm before this. I was a game bird farmer uh, so I raised a uh, uh, checker and, and pheasants and etc and so uh anyway <laughs> i got this big old truck out here oh it's a garbage truck i think 
It's a lost truck. Anyway, he's back there at the gate. Anyway, uh, so what are you grateful for? Um, especially as a homesteader, what are some of the things that have made you more grateful? Like successful garden, uh, building things, sunshine, snow. Uh, I don't, since I've been able to get back to the farming lifestyle, um, I got a comment the other day. Um, do you miss Phoenix? And my aunt, the only answer I had was, I do miss the growing season, because I just found out, obviously, about how short a growing season I have here. But I'm doing something about it. I'm building this greenhouse and all this other stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, the next time you're looking at somebody that's wearing overalls and dirty and doing chores, and you think, oh, what a low-class person. Uh, think again. Think again. These are actually been professionals. These are people who are sitting around at their cubicles, doing their 9 to 5, saying, there's got to be more to life than this. And let me tell you, <laughs> there is. There's a lot more. And you take that education and the smarts and the, and the business background you get and apply it to your farm or homestead and make it efficient. Make it cost effective by using your education and experience in the business world. That's smart. So these are brilliant people who just don't do the 9 to 5 and put on rubber boots in the morning instead of dress shoes. And they don't pack their lunches. They make their lunches. Literally make their lunches. <laughs> so don't even go there. You should be very proud of one being a homesteader or a farmer. And uh, yeah, we always get kicked around. And uh, you know, uh, the, some of these latest tax things coming out of that are just going to be so hard and uncom. Um, inheritance of uh, properties and things like that I won't even go into that but anyway what are you thankful for what are you grateful for what do you appreciate that God's given us um, I look at every tree a little different I look at our animals and I make sure I treat them well understand that they're part of the cycle and then I'm using those animals the the cycle into how we grow our food and uh, Everybody can do it at a different level, you know, like I'm not going to have cattle and I'm not going to have sheep, I don't think, and uh, so I won't be using that part of the cycles, but others will. And uh, anytime you meet someone's a homesteader, a farmstead, a, a farmer, small, many, many farmers, or, or just really into gardening, you need to tip your hat to them. They get it. They understand how to balance the world and balance the earth and how to take care of it. And the smart ones will find a way to recycle everything that they're doing. And I, uh, I can't think of more respect that I would have for a person. And I really think it would make God smile. Knowing that we have people coming back to the earth. Just a point of view. But guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments or what you're grateful for. Um, your observation about people that are professionals and going into this kind of lifestyle. Um, it's time to, to get back to this. I got a feeling for those of us who have, we'll be doing very well in the future. For those who laugh and scoff and and just don't want to change and they think things come from the grocery store um, I, I kind of feel sad for them and if some of them are out there that want to come into this world there's a way to do it just do it um, life's short look at me man I'm getting in 60s and it's like dang <laughs> some of this when I had my first farm uh, some of this uh progressive um, recycling stuff was not uh, we didn't have YouTube then and uh, boy I wish I would have had a chance to apply some of this to the past but anyway guys 
have a great day gotta get my chores done i'm not going to take you through the cycle of that uh, i gotta get my eggs gotta get some projects done and i also do professional work i own an internet company and a radio stations and uh so i gotta do that kind of stuff too and i have a wife that works in the accounting so yeah we're not uh hicks <laughs> we're high-tech rednecks so anyway guys talk to you later bye now our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks